good evening. It's Happy Thursday, and we're going to be doing some subtracting across the zeros. We're going to be subtracting with um, regrouping again, but a couple things I want to review with you first. This is the um, is one cube, which means it's a one. So these are worth ones, and right here you have a long. And do you remember those are worth ten? And ten cubes would be the same as one long. This is a flat and the flat is worth 100 and 10 longs is 100. Now if you were to look at this right here where I have two flats, no longs, and two cubes or two ones, what would that number be? And you're right, it would be 202. So you can see what that number looks like when we're using the base 10 blocks. So now I want to do a subtraction problem with you when it's going across the zeros. This is a little bit more complicated than what you're used to with the regrouping, but you know, we'll be getting chances to practice that um, in class. So if we have 202 and we want to subtract 138, first we go to our ones like always. However, uh-oh, we cannot take 2 minus 8. So we want to go to our 10s and borrow from our regroup from our 10s. Except you see there's no 10s. And so then we can go to our 100s. Now we have 200s here. And here they are up here. Here's 100 which is your flat. And then here's another 100 which I put together as 10 longs. So we're going to put this in our 10 spot. So here's our 100. So now we only have 100 left. And we have 10 10s. So we look at that with the 10 10s. We've only got 100 left and we have 10 tens left. So we still need to be able to do something about this too. So we can now borrow, we can take from the tens here. We can move one over here. So here, now when we look, how many ones do we have? We have 12 ones. Now how many tens do we have? Now we have nine tenths and we have 100. So again, we would cross that off, make that a nine, and this is a 12. So if we take 12 ones minus eight ones, we know that equals four. We take nine minus three and that equals six. And 1 minus 1, that equals 0. Now we're going to have more chances to practice this. I know this seemed like a lot right now, but we'll be practicing it um, tomorrow a little bit and over the next few weeks. But this was to give you an introduction as to what it would look like using the base 10 blocks and what it looks like when we're writing it out. So have a good night. Remember tomorrow is our reading. Bring some books, your pillow or blanket, and we look forward to seeing you in the morning. Have a good night.